morning, the Board of Trustees, Administration, and Faculty of California University of Management and Sciences, Virginia, and South Baylor University, Virginia campus, wish to welcome everyone to the 2016 graduation commencement. Graduating students, the faculty and staff of Cal UMS VA and SBU VA are extremely proud of your efforts and dedication shown. You have, you have achieved great success by completing your educational journey. We wish you the best of luck in your new professional career and the path that lies before you. On behalf of the California University of Management and Sciences, Virginia, and South Baylor University, Virginia, I wish to welcome everyone to the 19, 2016 graduation commencement ceremony. Therefore, I proclaim the ceremony to commence. Once you're in the new job, the first day and beyond, I'm here today as an academic, but it just so happens that I also have a good deal of corporate experience. I'm here to share some of that with you as well. I'm here to tell you what I think are some of the best kept secrets about the real world. I'm going to talk about a lot of things here, but the overall theme, as you'll see, is simplicity. Those people who hire you, those people that you're going to work for, yeah, they're scared to death of you. You'll be nervous on day one, absolutely, but without a doubt, they're more scared of you than you are of them. Perhaps scared isn't the right word, maybe intimidated. They may scoff behind your back, and they will. Derisive phrases like, the new kid, fresh out of college, shake their head at you. That's fine. They do it out of fear. They suspect that you're far better prepared today than they were when they came out of college. And you know what? Nine times out of ten, they're right. Many of them are remembering how much they screwed off in college and didn't learn, and they're feel for, fearful that you were the one that did know everything you needed to know. Every new college kid that comes through the door scares some of them who think that their day of reckoning has arrived in the form of you. And congratulations. Have a blast celebrating this major accomplishment in your life. And when you go to bed tonight, set your alarm. When you get up tomorrow, don't hit the ground running. Just go. Congratulations. We are here together with differences. We have different cultures. We have different religions, different habits. But we are here together to learn something. And we have learned specific subjects. But something more than that is you learned much about America. I came from other land 60 some years ago. And I've learned a great deal about the United States. There are good parts and bad parts. Everywhere you find the same thing. But there are more good things than bad things. That I think we have learned too. So if you think you have learned this so much and you, learn, you love this country so much that you like to stay in this, in this country, is fine. Otherwise, with your knowledge, you'll go back to your countries. 
and work for your own countries and work harder. And remember, you are a graduate of SVU and Kalu MS. When you exit this building, you must remember that although you officially graduated, learning doesn't and shouldn't stop. Your education is only a stepping stone into a world of opportunity. Use the power that you have gained to do great things. Don't allow negativity to hinder your progress. Stay positive despite your obstacles that you may face. In fact, use the negativity as a motivator in your life. And before I sit down, I just have something that I want to share with you all. Um, something that I wrote in regards to success. Success does not come easy despite the commitment of time and hard work. Frustration and feelings of giving up through the process often lurk. The distance to success can feel like a long, lonely road with no ending in sight. The obstacles that often arise can make it feel dark with no availability of light. Thomas A. Edison once said, I have not failed. I just found 10,000 ways not to do something or something that doesn't work right. It is a mindset on how you look at the world. So continue to ask questions, test yourself, and challenge yourself, and you would surprise yourself. I always give projects and class homeworks. So I would like our graduate students right now to close your eyes for a second, or two, or three. And think about when you started your journey to get your degree. Think about what you wanted to do and how long you thought it was going to take you. And all the work that needed to go to it. Now open your eyes. You did it. You're here. I have one more task for you. Now I want you to close your eyes again and think about where you want to be in 10 years. What do you want to have accomplished? What are the new goals that you want to do? That's your homework. We have gotten a great education here, which makes it far more than a step between high school and the real world, but rather a stepping stone to our futures. At Kelly MS, we have learned the importance of being on time. We have learned how to be respectful to our colleges and how to accomplish our task in our own way rather than finding shortcuts. Moving forward, we know that in life, we will be learning something new every day. Life itself is an education and your experiences are lessons. Remember to carry the legacy of your own. For that, I want to read out lines from my favorite song. Do it for your people. Do it for your pride. How are you going to know if you're not going to even try? Do it for your country. Do it for your name. Because there's going to be a day when you are going to stand in the Hall of Fame. Now I wish all my fellow graduates every success in the years ahead. And I know that you will do your part in making this world a better place. Congratulations on hitting the special milestone. Thank you. We did it. We all accomplished one of our major milestones of our life. It's a master's degree. This is a major step in our life journey and should be recognized for its immense significance. It's such a pleasure to share my intense emotions within the theater as we are graduating to close one of our important chapters of our life. We haven't just learned calculus, statistics, business law, and ethics. We have learned the value of friendship, loyalty, individual beliefs, ideas, and personal opinions. Not only our family and friends should be proud of us, but we should be proud of ourselves. Thank you. Chase your dreams. As we go forth into the community to practice our art, science, and craft, we must always keep our healer's mindset. This is our way to against the battering currents of the increasingly hostile world. You might rightfully wonder what just, what just a handful of acupuncturists might accomplish when so very ma many things operate explicitly with an evil purpose. How can we uh, stand against the contamination around us? 
Rather than uh, lose our focus and abandon our hope, we must work to change things for the better in the world around us, even if it's only in the modest realms of our clinic. Cultivate activism. In a short video, our graduates would like to share their testimonies. Hi, my name is Gail Tuya Batsjensen. People call me Jenny, and I'm from Mongolia. And I came here in 2014 winter. It was my first time in America and first time coming coming to Calumas as well. So my um, whole experience in America is my whole experience in Calumas. Yeah, my name is Hardik. I'm from uh, India. And I have been studying in Calumas like half, one and a half year. I'm a MSS student. Uh, I'm studying here two years and this is my final grade soon coming. Um, and uh, what I was studying was MBA for the two years. I'm so glad that I'm I'm happy to be a part of Galium Miss. A few have called me Ghana and I've been here two years as an MBA student. It's been three years I've been um, studying, uh, start from English course to my MSCIS course. I've, I've been in the US for two years and uh, I'm an international student. Uh, I'm from India. Your hard work is appreciated, and as such, we would like to recognize those who excelled in our programs. If your name is called, please come up. The Board of Trustees Award for Highest GPA, Outstanding Academic Excellence and Leadership, presented by John Roshik, goes to Pente John. The Presidential Award for Excellent and Academic Fortitude, presented by Dr. David Park, goes to Chaitanya Surapaneni. Academic Excellence Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, presented by Mr. Gordon, goes to Rajkumar Barkam and, and Jay Satish Shah. The Student Leadership Award for Outstanding Leadership and Involvement in Student Activity, presented by Ms. Kulan Och, goes to Diomar Antonio Silva Valdivia. The Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence and Le Leadership, presented by SBU President Dr. Jason Shin, goes to Yang, jo Yang Yong Jan. The Award for Academic Excellence and Outstanding Academic Achievement, presented by Dr. Jin Wook Kim, goes to Jian Sing Jae.
the award of clinic excellence pre presented by clinical director, Dr. Julie Park, goes to Chang Kai Fu. It is my pleasure to request that the Master of Science in Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine uh, be awarded. California University of Management Science, please rise. By the authority vested in the university by the state of Virginia, the authorization by the Board of Trustees and upon recommendation of the faculty, it is my privilege to award the Bachelor of Science in Business Management, Master of Business Administration, and Master of Science degrees upon this class with all honors and <coughs> privileges thereto You can move your tassels from your right to your left, showing you have earned a degree. Congratulations. We will now present the candidates for the California University of Management and Sciences, Virginia. Awarding the diplomas are campus director, Ms. Kulan Och, and Cal UMS president, Dr. David Park. Candidates, please bring your name card when you come onto the stage. Goncherenkos Vitlana, cum laude. Yakubov Faridun. KUMS Master of Business Administration. Sujay Rochanavi. <laughs> Silva Valdivia Jomar. <laughs> Savaram Bharat Kumar. Bachu Aron Kumar. Kanati Kaushik. <laughs> Nalani Rajeshwara Rao, Kum Laude. <laughs> Tota Rajesh. Maridu Chandana, magna cum laude. Godishala Niraj, cum laude. Akenapali Sahiti, cum laude. Tavareker Sai Krishna, cum laude. Ketiredi Rahu. Kisari Sai Krishna Gau, cum laude. Silak Varma. Kodugula Suresh, magna cum laude.
Vemi Redi Gopinat Redi, Cum Laude. Nalu Kurti Anudip, Cum Laude. Here to administer the CalUMS oath is our academic dean, Mr. Ken Gordon. CalUMS oath is on the back page of your pamphlet. All CalUMS graduates, please stand. Callum's graduates. Callum's graduates, we're here, for, we're here for our commencement ceremony. And so, it's funny, we call this ceremony commencement. It comes from the English word commence, to begin. So as we've graduated from this university, why do we celebrate a beginning? Well, we're here to celebrate our accomplishments, your accomplishments, but we're also here to focus on the future. And you all have prepared for that future. You've gained knowledge as measured in the grades and your report cards. But you've also gained character as measured by the friendships and the bonds that you've made here and the actions that you'll take going forward. And so as we celebrate this commencement ceremony, we take the Callum's Oath so that we can commit to a life lived with strong character. California University of Management and Sciences, Virginia. Graduates, please repeat after me. I belong to the Callum's family. Where versatility, technology, and values are honored. And where peace, harmony, and the common good shall always abound. With all my mind, my heart, and my strength, I pledge to I pledge to pursue excellence at all times. in the workplace, the community, and in my home. Leaving no room for complacency or self-righteousness. In all my goals and tasks, I promise to uphold integrity, competence, synchrony, and professionalism. thereby being of quality service for the good of all. I dedicate myself to respecting others, as well as respecting oneself. To the end, I shall be responsible to ensure order, in keeping what is right and just to preserve the dignity of man. Through the grace of the divine providence, I vow to make a difference in the quality of life so that others may track and lead to their success. I choose to belong to the Callum's family, my fortress for learning and my home for achieving. Congratulations, graduates. Here to administer the SBU oath is Dr. Jin Wook Kim. To enjoy life and the practice of acupuncture and oriental medicine. respected by all men and women at all times. Congratulations, guys.